But if you choose to subscribe, you the man Yes, you, everyone below in the comments Yes, you too Thank you very much for showing me love Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you YouTube, you've made it to another 978 Customs video Thank you guys for coming And finally, we have the Insomniac Spider-Man A.K.A. PS4 Spider-Man uh, A lot of you guys are aware that Sony is going to release a PlayStation 4 game With a new Spider-Man costume it's actually a whole new Spider-Man story. It has nothing to do with the comics, nothing to do with the movies. It's just a brand new kind of reiteration of Spider-Man and Peter Parker. He's a little older in this one. And I do like the costume design. A lot of people have been requesting me to make it. And I just wanted to wait a little more until we had better images of the game. And seeing if the game was even worth buying before I bought into any of the hype. And here we are a couple months later. There's not much to say about the story behind this Spider-Man we know that Negative Zone is probably the one of two of the main villains in the game. Negative Zone. Uh, Mr. Negative, actually. Negative Zone. He throws Spider-Man into the Negative Zone. But that's all we know. And we don't know what the suit can do. It kind of reminds me of the Homecoming suit, but with white touches instead of black. And I'm alright with that. I think it's, it's a, modern, a modern touch to the Spider-Man suit. Pref preferably, I like the classic look. So, if you was the Ask me this or classic, I said classic. The spider does pop and it catches your attention from far away, so it does look good. It almost looks like a skeleton on his chest, from my point of view. One thing I will say, as simple as this custom appears to be, it actually was kind of difficult because the parallel lines that surround the cobweb area and the cobwebs itself, and then the, the logo on top, so it's a very delicate job. You gotta be very careful when you do something like this. It's not hard, I don't wanna say it's hard, it's just step by step, kind of like um, Future Foundation, but with no masking. This is just all freehand, painted with the brush. And the logo was probably the scariest part. I didn't want to mess up everything I had done already, so adding the white was either hit or miss. Because my technique for white, to get it as smooth as it is, is, is water it down and then glob it nicely, it's like a nice... I don't want to say pool or puddle, but it's it's just a nice smooth coat with no brush strokes in it, and let it dry that way so you don't see any brush strokes. But do it as light and thin as possible so you can come back and clean up whatever you can without leaving any markings. But it's hard to explain. I'll have to tutorial that out for you guys. But I do like this logo. I do like the spider. And even though it didn't take me very long to do, I did get a very big headache from just focusing with my sniper vision. I like to say. But no, just being so focused on the lines was, was tough. And I'm working on some interchangeable hands and stuff, so bear with me. I just wanted to get this out to you guys because you guys have been asking me for a while. If you haven't figured it out already, this custom was made with the Spider-Man UK body. Uh, sorry guys, I'm working on another project as we speak. But this was a Spider UK before. I just shaved down under the arms right here, right where the rib cage was. But everything is painted inside. If you guys want, let me give you some reference shots and then some work in progress pics. Starting off with the biggest shot I had was this one. Uh, still image from the game. And you can see that it looks like the homecoming suit, just with the big white spider. And then you see it in the shoulders where the blue stripes are. It has a gray border. It's pretty consistent throughout the entire costume. So I wanted to make sure I grabbed as many reference shots. And this is the you know what I used to get the back to know what the spider looks like and where it lines up <clears throat> here it looks to be a little smaller so i went with the, the game design rather than these inspirations but i did look at them and I, I did realize that they were all pretty consistent and this was a good shot also to use for reference because it shows in detail the borderline around the cobwebs and you can see that it's a gray kind of material so it's black gray black and I even went as far as to using this cosplayer's design, and his design also had that same pattern. And so it is what it is. This shirt, not so much, but I wanted to see the spider. And uh, shout out to my boy Dylan Customs. Make sure you follow him. He said this custom he did first, and he wanted me to look at it. And I took a look at his, and I was like, oh, it's not bad. I like it. I just I wanted a different body, so I used the Spider UK. So... I took off all the original paint from the UK body, sanded the shoulders, under the shoulders, and under the arms where the ribs are, like I mentioned earlier. And 
started painting it. I uh, added blue, added red, and then I added the parallel cobwebs going down. Try to get them as best as I could. Followed by some horizontal lines with the curvature. I just wanted to make sure it was all symmetrical. And then I continued along with the gray border around the cobweb. Well, it's actually a black border, then a gray border, then another black border on top of that. So it's red, black, gray, black. And there's a lot of lines. Now it's time for the logo. Start off with half it. Making sure it looks pretty decent. It's all straight. The middle was not so straight at, the, at that time. And then I added some black lines around it just to make it pop out a bit. You can see on the third leg it's a little black. So I had to clean that up. And once that was clean, I ended up doing the other side. They looked okay to me. And so I was pretty excited it was looking good so I continued along and tried to do the arms and took a better shot with the flash on just to make sure I wasn't missing anything and there were a few flaws here it's still not as clean as it can be and again with the flash just seeing all the lines making sure everything was neat and I didn't want to make sure this was all for nothing so I tried pretty hard to get those lines straight but the worst wasn't even over yet I had the backside to do and I dreaded it for a couple, maybe a day actually, maybe a day. And I was like, all right, same process, shouldn't be that hard. Did one half, did the border on that half. But if you look on the left side, that one leg is not clean at all. It might not even line up. And that's what I do. I just glob it up and then clean it up with the blue. Then added more lines here. And you see the left side doesn't have that black border on it where the right side has the border. Then they both have the border here. Overall, I am pleased with the logo in the back and the front. So, but here's UK on the left and then PS4 on the right. Now they do look pretty much the same for the most part. The blues are different and the reds are different, but just the colorway, the red, white, and blue, and the bodies, pretty much the same. Ooh, that was long. That was probably one of the longest work in progress clips I've shown you guys, but back to the review. You see everything is lined up and it is painted when you crunch the ab up. So you have all the lines lining up and down. You feel free to lift this arm up without any worry of it rubbing because it doesn't rub like the UK shoulders normally do. I had to sand down around it and cut, cut around it. I hate the UK body because of that. But when you fix that problem, the UK body actually looks really good. I also did the cobwebbings on the side of the leg, the white on the back of the arms. And I, I like this overall. I would like Hasbro to release one of these when the game comes out. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But the white on the hands look pretty cool. The one thing I will say, though, if you didn't notice already, right, is that these hands, I think, are supposed to be red. But I decided to leave mine's blue and just put the white around it it didn't it, to be honest it's such a small thing that you don't even really notice but in real life in the comic i mean the comic in the game his his gloves are red mine's blue quick comparison with the uk and the spider-man from the ps4 game again they share the same body same head sculpt different paint work and i think it's very doable for hasbro to do it would serve that body justice, put it to use, because a lot of people had problems with the UK body. So I think if they put this spider on the body, people may complain less. I know it sounds hypocritical, but having a figure they really want would, would be cool. But honestly, I, I think I may prefer to see this particular design on the new Bozai body. I mean, come on, come on. What else was I going to say? Bozai. But no, I, I mean, if not... I'd take it on the UK body, even on a Bucky cap. Um, Pizza Spider-Man body, sure, I'd take it on that. I, 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 think, I think we could leave that alone for a little bit. Let's move on. But here's what I'm thinking. If I were Hasbro, I would release an exclusive figure with an exclusive version of the game for an exclusive retailer store, either Walmart or Target, and do it that way i mean it's not that much of a popular character a lot of people don't know what the spider-man design really is unless you're interested in video games so offer it to those who play video games 
Um, I think it'll make two things happen. People who don't really want to buy the game, buy the game for the figure, and vice versa, uh, buy the figure for the game. Or buy the, you know, some people want to play the game. I personally, I don't even play video games like that anymore, but I am going to buy the game regardless because I like Spider-Man games. They've always been fun. But that's what I think Hasbro should do. As far as this one goes, I'm going to put them up on eBay. So here's the eBay link. People have been asking me to, to sell them, and I don't think it's fair to just sell it to anyone. So I'm going to give everyone the opportunity. If you really want them, feel free to uh, check out the eBay link and place a bid. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more Spider-Man customs, feel free to like, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know what you think about this one. If you have any questions, also feel free to comment. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Those who have, I appreciate it very much. And stay tuned because we got some new stuff coming. Thank you. If you want to own this Spider-Man, he's on eBay right now. You guys can place your bids on the Insomniac Spider-Man on eBay. The link will be in the description. So feel free to go check that out. If you guys are really interested, uh, good luck, and I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.